Hello again, this is HQ Jones. This is HQ Videos for you, and I'm your Blu-ray and DVD baller on a budget. And happy Halloween. We're getting back into my Halloween horror Blu-ray collection. And jumping back into it, we have Devil. This is a, actually a pretty cool psychological th thriller. I believe all this takes place in an elevator, and I'll just leave it at that. Really cool movie. I highly recommend seeing this if you've never seen this before. Devil. <clears throat> Speaking of cool movies, we cool movies. We have Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino, and the unrated director's cut of Devil's Advocate. If you haven't seen this, this is another must see, especially towards the end of this movie. Pacino has this great line contrasting God and the devil. So if you haven't seen Devil's Advocate, I highly recommend this movie. This is one I don't think I've seen. If I, if I have seen it, it's been a while ago. Devil's Candy. This is a Scream release. And this is the flip side of the Devil's Candy. Next we have the Devil's Dew. I believe this is a possession movie. I saw this a while ago. Just okay as possession movies go. Devil's Do. Devil Inside. I believe this is an, another possession movie. It feels like a four or five year stretch. It was like a, a new possession movie every month. So, the de uh, Devil Inside. This is an Anchor Bay release. The Divide. I haven't seen this. I think this is more of an apocalyptic horror type of picture. The Divide. And we have Dog Soldiers. This is a werewolf movie, kind of a different type of werewolf movie. I believe this is a, a UK uh, production, Dog Soldiers. We have a Guillermo del Toro, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. It's kind of a haunted, a haunted house type of movie with Katie Holmes and Guy Pierce. Pretty decent movie. I wouldn't say it's one of uh, Guillermo's best movies, but again, a, Definitely worth the watch. It's the flip side of the artwork. Don't breathe. I haven't seen this one, but I've seen the previews of this. I believe some young people try to break in the house of a, a blind guy, and they got it. They kind of get trapped in the house. So, looking forward to watching this. Don't breathe. Don't knock twice. Haven't seen this. Not sure what this one's about. Uh, looks like another haunted house type of movie. Don't knock twice. And this is the slip cover. And the back side. And the insert that came with it. With it. And then we have Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. If you like Sam Raimi, Evil Dead, Evil 2, uh, Army of Darkness, you'll love Drag Me to Hell. This is kind of a, a gypsy curse type of movie, movie. Daniel Craig, Naomi Weiss, and I believe it was Rachel Weiss from The Mummy, Dream House. A haunted House type of movie. It was a little slow, but not bad. More of a thriller than a horror picture. And we have a Miramax Echo Bridge release, the multi-feature Dust to Dawn. To be honest, I've only seen the first one, Dust to Dawn, with um, Tarantino's uh, version with Glenn, uh, Glenn Clooney. Haven't seen the other three, but I've actually seen the Dust to Dawn television series on the El Rey channel, and I believe... Don Johnson, and if I'm not mistaken, Cheech Marin might have been the series, so that was an interesting series. But I will eventually watch the other two Dust of Dawns. We have Brandon Ruth and Dylan Dog. It's kind of a strange, kind of a ghost hunter type of movie. I believe Dylan, Dylan Dog is some kind of ghost hunter. And I see Ty, it looks like Tay Diggs might have a, a small role in this. Dylan Dog. And speaking of 
Sam Raimi. We have the epic Evil Dead. And the remake of Evil Dead, which is not bad, but did not compare to the original Evil Dead Sam Raimi's. And we have the back art. And then we have Anchor Bay's Evil Dead 2. And the back art. And in my opinion, probably the scariest movie ever, The Exorcist. I believe I watched The Exorcist when I was 12 and I couldn't sleep that whole night. That only thing that was going in my head with a little girl's head going around and around that flipped me out. The Exorcist, this is actually the complete anthology with the slipcover. You have the back of the slipcover. Then you have the cover art. Next we have Jessica Alba and the eye. I believe this is about a girl who has an eye transplant or some type of transplant and the changes that goes on her goes on with her after the transplant. Interesting horror picture of the eye. Here is the back side of that. And going on with eyes, we have a classic Faye Dunaway, Tom Lee Jones, Eyes of Laura Mars. I know I saw this years ago when it came out. I believe this photographer is just photographing um, murder scenes or something to that effect. So, very interesting movie. Look forward to watching this again. Eyes of Laura Mars. The Faculty. Uh, was Usher Raymond. Um... Elijah Wood and Josh Arnett can't think of her name it's Robert Rodriguez really fun kind of uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers type of movie hopefully I can get a better copy in this the, the DVD I mean the Blu-ray is fine it's just the cover art was kind of messed up I'm sure I only paid like a, a buck or two for it we have Feast kind of a monster type of picture very interesting, very unexpected scenes in there, so definitely worth the watch. We have another classic Fright Night. I actually have the Twilight Time version of this. Ryder McDowell and Chris Sarandon. And Fright Night Part 2. I actually have uh, two different Blu-ray copies of that with different covers. And the DVD Fright Night 2. I also have the Fright Night in 3D, but that's in my 3D folder. And if you don't know Fright Night, they're vampire pictures. Then we have the Final Destination Collection. This might be horror, thriller, I don't know, just fun set of movies. Um, all four actually have two more that are in 3D. It's the flip side to the final destinations. And we have the forest. I'm not, there's been a couple movies like this, so I'm not sure if I've seen this one or not. I believe this has something to do with um, either people getting lost in the forest or people committing suicide in the forest, one or the other. But the forest. And we have the slipcover. And the back garden. For some reason, I don't have the cover art for From Hell. I know I have the Blu-ray. Anyways, then we have Gallows. I actually forgot what this was about. I have to watch this again. It was, from what I remember, it was, it was a, a fun watch. I just can't remember exactly what it was about. The Gallows. 
and we have some very cheesy 80s horror, Ghoulies, Ghoulies 2. Uh, basically, Ghoulies, they conjure up some ghouls from the netherworld, and that's what Ghoulies and Ghoulies 1 or 2. Very fun, cheesy 80s type of horror. It's a Scream, Scream Factory release. This is the back art. Another fun horror picture, Freaks of Nature. Haven't seen this one. Um, interesting cast. Joan Cusack, Patton Oswalt, Vanessa Hudgens. So just kind of a fun type of horror. I believe it's a zombie type picture. Freaks of Nature. Grace. This is kind of a Rosemary's Baby, Possessed Baby, It's Alive type movie. Grace. And we have Grudge, which I heard they're just going to do a remake of Grudge. And looking forward to that, seeing if it's going to be as interesting as the original. And this is the back art of the Grudge. Then I have The Hollow. I saw this not too long ago. I honestly can't remember what it was about. The Hollow. It's a Scream Factory release. So, And this is the flip art to The Hollow. And we have Halloween. It says the complete collection, but however, with the addition of the recent Halloweens of the past couple years, it's no longer complete. So I will not go and buy a whole new box set, but I will pick up the uh, other two movies that I don't have to complete the set. And this is the, for the back side. And the cover art for Halloween 1 through 5. And the cover art for the other Halloween movies. And to the back side. And I think I'll stop right here. Again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. If nothing else, if nothing else, if nothing else, give me a thumbs up. Doesn't hurt you at all. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Peace.